Shalom Aleichem. Continuing with the wonderful book of Yetzirah, the book of making, book of creation, in the sixth path. The sixth path is called Sechel Shefa Nivdal. It's a mind, it's a wisdom of separated or unique bounty. And it's called so, Venikra Ken, Mipnei, because Shebo, that in it, Mitrabe Shefa Ha'atzilut. The bounty that is coming down to the lower levels from the top levels is being increased in that place. And it is Vehu Mashpia Shefa'u is influencing that bounty Al kol habrechot hamit achdot beatzmo, or al kol habrechot hamit achdot beatzmo, when it's influencing its bounty on all the pools, sources of blessings that are being united in it. So we'll read it again. The mind that is unique and separated mind of wisdom of bounty of wisdom is called so because that in it the bounty that comes down is being increasing is increasing and it's influencing its own bounty on all the pools of bounty pools of blessings that are united in it so it's like a main um, barn that collects all the bounty in it, into it, and then influencing it to the rest of the barns, different smaller branches that are sending and expanding the, um, the distribution of that bounty. But in the end of the way, it's coming back and being united within it. So you can compare that, for an example, to the um, main bank, the federal bank, or something like that, that makes, he is the source of sending the money to the different banks. And then from the different banks, the main branches of the different um, brand, banks, they are sending the money to their branches in different counties, in different cities, in different villages, all the branches. And then all the money that they are collecting, they're also sending it back to the main pool. In the end, the money comes back to the federal bank. So this is a structure that can give us the understanding of how that wisdom works. It's like the heart, that inside of the heart, the pump is increasing the pressure of blood and it's sending the blood to all the organs. And then in the end of the road, it goes back to the heart. The seventh path is called hidden wisdom, Nikra Sechel Nistar. And it's called so, Venikra Ken, Mipne Shehu Zohar Mazhir Lekol Hakochot Hasichliim Hanirim Bein Hasechel Uvrayon Haemunot. Such a beautiful book. Let's try to say it again, now in English. The seventh path is called a hidden wisdom. And it's called so because it is a shine that glows to all the mental or um, mental, I think, to all the mental seeing in the eye powers, to all the powers that are mental and can be seen to the eye of the mind and in the ideas of all faiths. Again, it's a mysterious hidden wisdom. And it's called mysterious because that it is a shine that glows to all the powers. Now there are people, okay? And they have certain powers. Which powers? Powers of mind, but powers of mind that are being seen in the eye of the mind means that that is the source for all the visions, for all the imaginations for all the mind powers that can be seen in the eye of the mind of people and in the idea of faith. So 
faith that, that are holy faith that are real and solid and and true and also the foreign ones they're all receiving from that source from that hidden mind that is glowing to all the mind powers that are being seen to the eyes of the mind of people and in the ideas of all their faiths the eighth path nativ hachet Nikra Sechel Shalem is called complete wisdom. And it's called so, Venikra Ken, Mipne Shehu, because it is Tchunat HaKadmut, the essence, the ancient essence, the essence of ancientness, of old, old time. Asher En Lo Shoresh Lit Yashev Bo, that there is no root for it to settle in it, just in the great rooms that are coming down from the essence of its existence. So there is a complete mind and it's called complete because it is ancient in its nature. It's revealing the will of Hashem, the ancient pre-time um, quality means will and desire of our maker. When it does not have a root to settle in it, it cannot have a place to sit because its source is above this world, but he finds its place, its reflection can be seen in the large rooms, means the developments, the outcomes of his essence, of his creation, that is coming down from the essence, from the purpose of his existence. So it exists and it's complete and it's reflecting the ancient time, the real authentic will of our maker. And it does not have a place because it's above the place and it's expressing itself in his extensions, in his rooms that are being created because of that complete wisdom existence. The ninth path is called pure mind, and it's called so, because it's purifying the Sfirot. Sfirot are the 10, um, I don't know how you call them, spheres, like circles, like rounds, and they are names of attributes. They are names of certain qualities that the unity is divided to. So you have the unity of Hashem. He is one and His name is one. But if you want to break it down, you can break it down to 10. So it's like the 10 commandments. They got the tablets and it was the time Hashem gave the Torah that is one. But you can break it to two tablets, and those two are breaking to five each. So you have ten. So the ten sfirot are ten parts who compose, build together with no dividing in unity the completion of, of his light, of Hashem's light. So the ninth path is a pure mind and it's called so because he is, it is purifying the Sfirot. Um of Chin and it's defining Um of Hik and shining Gzerat Tavnitam, the shape of their structure Vetochen Achdutam and the quality of their unity. Shehen Meyuchadot, that they are unique and special without dividing and separation. Aeroplanes are flying back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. There is an amazing Air Force base here, just a couple of miles from us. And they, uh, they want us to remember that they exist. So it's that mind is pure mind and it's called pure because it's purifying the Sfirot. Why does it need to purify the Sfirot? Because the Sfirot themselves are reflecting dividing and dividing is something that is impure compared to unity. 
But because that they are coming to present unity, even though that they are divided to ten, they should be cleansed and purified for that purpose. And that pure mind is showing, defining and brightening the shape of their structure and the quality of their unity, that they are special in that fact that they are not separated and not divided. So the fact that they are 10 is not canceling the fact that they are a complete structure that is reflecting unity. Thank you so much and may Hashem bless us all to rise and shine. Amen. You know me, my name is RDMC with the Muna Project, all the nations with me, close your eyes, just breathe, see the truth, don't chase the fake world, don't buy the fake news, be yourself, your own true self, don't let no one take our natural wealth, see the good. From an endless spring, light up courage in yourself. You they feel. can kick you down to the ground, hold yourself up till you are put up your crown. King of the Creator, holy soul inside. Focus on the spiritual and you shall.